All right, welcome to the webinar today. Um, today we are doing a question and answer session. So we're, I, we're, you're, I'm giving you a chance to really practice um, some of the things that you're learning in the Pronunciation Pro program. So a lot of you are going to be at different phases in the, um, in the program. Some of you are in your free trial week and kind of trying to decide whether you are gonna continue with the course. Um, some of you are further down, along in the course, week six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. Um, for those of you who are here, go ahead and write in the question box which week you are currently on so that I can get a feel for um, where we are and where, where you guys are in the program and so I can better kind of answer questions and help you, um, help you um, based on where you are already. So um, today what we're going to do is we're going to answer some of your questions and I'm going to practice with you. So what, what we're going to do um, is I have a couple of questions that were submitted to me in advance through email. Um, so I've prepared a little um, short little lesson on some of the questions that I, that I got. Um, so we're going to go talk about that a little bit. Some of you might not be on the lesson yet on intonation, but I think this will be, still be a lot of, um, be really good practice for you. Um, and for those of you who are, who are here, I want you to be thinking about questions that you have. <clears throat> Excuse me, questions that you have, and um, go ahead and write them down in that question box whenever you think of it. Um, words that you are having trouble with or um, kind of sounds that you're struggling with and what we can do is we can pull up we can pull up the worksheets and I can um, we can practice together so I can have you unmute your microphone and um, I can give you feedback on how you're doing with those lessons so I'm seeing that um, one of you is on week week one one is on week eight Okay, um, so we kind of have a variety of, of uh, you know, where you are in the program, a variety of students and, and different levels of the program. So I'll go ahead and, and try and kind of um, teach to where you are and definitely, definitely let me know if you have questions along the way. All right, so the first, the first thing we're going to go over is intonation okay intonation is we go over intonation I think in week five <laughs> week five is talks about intonation and we, when we talk about intonation and actually let me do this oops I'm going to see I'm a little new with the technology here so I've got to got to switch over to the workbook Okay, so um, with week, so intonation is week five, week five of the program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a little bit on the rules of intonation, and then we're going to do a little practice. Okay, so I'll talk about what we do in the, um, in the, uh, in the video lessons. We'll kind of talk about what's talked about in the video lessons, and then I'll, and then I'll kind of expound on what's taught on the video lesson. Sorry, I'm trying to get to the page on intonation. So obviously in the videos, I couldn't go over everything there is to know about intonation, but you do learn about falling intonation. You learn about that most English, um, most, most phrases and things in English are um, that you're falling at the end of the sentence. So. Um, so eat your food, come over here, um, those strawberries are for dessert, those strawberries are for dessert, dessert, dessert. So there's kind of this falling at the end of the sentence. Even WH questions, what's your name? Name. So it kind of jumps up and down at the end. So how long have you worked here? Worked here. Worked here. Can you hear kind of that drop off? Where did you go on vacation? Vacation, shun. Okay, so it's not, where did you go on vacation? No, our intonation is not going up. It's going down at the, the end. 
So we talk about falling intonation. We talk about rising intonation on yes or no questions. Um, and we talk about a variety of other situations where your voice is going to go up and when it's going to be go down. One thing that we don't talk about in too much detail is emotion. Okay, so um, we talk about personality and then there's different pitch levels depending on your personality. Oops. Are you guys hearing me all right? Let me, um, if you can, I, I, have, I have a note set for someone that you're not hearing me. So if there's, uh, can, you, can you type in, everyone that's here, can you type in either yes, you hear me, or obviously if you don't type in yes, then I can, um, then I know that you don't hear me. Okay, I don't think anybody can right now. If you can hear me, go ahead and type in. Let me take a look at. So if you can hear me, type in yes into the questions box. Sharika, I'm here. I, I got your message that you don't hear anything. Let me. Let me just take a look. All right. How about that? Um, okay. Good. Okay. So I'm getting response. So hopefully it's clear enough. Uh, Sharik, everyone else is saying yes. So I'm, I'm thinking it might have to do with your system. Okay. So I took out my microphone. I don't know if that was the issue. Hopefully it's clear enough here. Um, okay, so we've been talking about uh, intonation and intonation in the video lessons in week five, we go over a variety of, um, a variety of things and as far as rising and falling intonation. One thing that I haven't, I didn't go over in great detail is the emotion that, um, the levels of emotion that can change through your pitch. And um, so what we're going to do today is we are going to go over, excuse me, let me switch then over to our practice page. So we're gonna talk about um, intonation and the emotions that can, can be conveyed through intonation. All right, so with intonation practice, we're going to do some intonation practice, and we have a little, I have a little dialogue here, so it's kind of like a acting <laughs> lesson. Um, so the, with this intonation practice, we're going to kind of put on this character, okay? Um, I don't know how many of you uh, have any experience with acting, but, um, but we're going to kind of try that today. And what we have to do is we have to pretend that we have these different emotions that we're trying to, to use. And we're going to express that emotion through our intonation. All right, so, um, so what we're going to do is first I'm going to go through this, um, this dialogue and I'll be both A and B and I'm hoping that we can get um, some volunteers to be able to, um, uh, to kind of view, kind of experiment with this, and I'm hoping you'll be brave enough uh, to to um, to volunteer to kind of help with this. And the more you practice, the more um, the better that you better you're going to get. I have um, I have a quote in my office that says, um, "Mistakes are proof that you're trying," and I love that because because you won't be able to accomplish what you need to accomplish or learn what you need to learn if you're not willing to try. And the risk in trying is that you'll make mistakes, but that's, that's going to happen, that's inevitable, that's always going to happen, especially when you're, when you're doing things that kind of stretch you um, beyond your current capacity. So today will be one of those ways that I want you to stretch and I want you to um, really kind of Step out of that com comfort zone and see what you can do to um, improve your improve yourself today. 
Okay, so intonation practice. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be both A and B, and I'm going to just kind of read it with no emotion. Okay, so um, here's the difference. So, um, person A, hey, did you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? No, I forgot. You forgot again? But you've already had it for a month. Don't worry, I'll, I'll bring it tomorrow. You always say that, but you never do. Relax, I said I'll bring it tomorrow. You better, or, or I'm going to tell everyone in school you're a jerk. Okay, so that's with no emotion. Okay, how, uh, obviously not a lot there in terms of knowing kind of how people felt. You can, you can, you can kind of tell from the words they're using what the emotion was, but, um, but really it can be improved on here. So that, that's probably not how the interaction would have gone. Okay, so I want, I'm going to say it again, and I, um, and I'll be both parts this time just to kind of give you that model. But I want you to think about, okay, what, uh, what emotions are being shown through each one of these? And we'll go line by line and kind of talk about the emotion um, that's, that's there. Okay, so for the first one, A, hey, did you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? No, I forgot. You forgot again? But you've already had it for a month. Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. You always say that, but you never do. Relax, I said I'll bring it tomorrow. You better, or I'm going to tell everyone in school you're a jerk, okay? All right, so that's that's probably how that scenario would have gone, more, more cl uh, closer to how that scenario would have gone. Okay, so I want you to tell me, and everybody get ready in your question box, um, because I want some good interaction here. Um, with the first one, I'm going to I'm going to give this one away because it's kind of a tricky one. There really is no not a, a distinguishable emotion here. So hey, did you hey did you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? Okay, so not a lot of emotion there, just kind of more informational, right? Um, but B, um, no, I forgot. Okay, so that one, you know, kind of relaxed, kind of relaxed, not not too bad. Okay, now A, now the next one, I want you to I want you to type in what you think the emotion is here. <clears throat> okay, you forgot again, but you've already had it for a month. Okay, type in what you think that emotion is <clears throat> based on the way that I. I, I said it. <clears throat> Surprise, disappointment, angry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, I'm really bugged, right? I'm a little, a little annoyed. I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm surprised, right? So what did I, where did I stress or what did I do to show you that, um, that I was annoyed or surprised? Um, which words, and type in, type in for me, uh, yeah, again, right. Okay, I like that. What were, I was just going to say, what words um, did I emphasize that made you think that? And someone, someone typed in again, so you're right. So again, you forgot again, so I'm emphasizing that word again. So if you, depending on where you are in the program, when we talk about word stress or sentence stress, I'm talking about emphasizing important words. So in this situation, there's a lot of overlap between that sentence stress and emphasizing the important words and emotion, okay? Because the important word in this sentence is again, okay? And just like one of our users said, for a month, I emphasized a month. You forgot again? You've already had it for a month, a month, okay? So that's where the stress needs goes because, and that's, you know, because of that feeling of annoyance, you forgot again, you know, versus you forgot again, it would be more like, okay, you versus somebody else, maybe, you know, that would be the feeling that you would get. Um, you forgot again, you forgot again, that could be it. But the fact that it's again, that, that this is a, a repeating pattern, and they're emphasizing again, then that really makes it, you know, makes it stand out that this is 
this has been an issue <laughs> and I'm bugged about it um, as we go along. Okay, so, but you've already had it for a month. Okay, so, so overall, just that annoyed, impatient, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of talking and I get, my throat doesn't like it. Okay, so let's go down to the next sentence. Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay, what's the, what's the attitude here? Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. What's the emotion here? Type it into the question box. If you can kind of identify what the emotion here is. Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. And then you can change that a, a different way. So don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. Like if I'm emphasizing certain words, or I could say, don't worry, don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay, but I'm still emphasizing sh certain words. So, so Sharik, yeah, you're saying assurance. So I'm, I'm trying to calm them down. I'm trying, my, my voice is kind of trying to keep them um, from freaking out. <laughs> So don't worry, don't worry. I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay, so you're trying to assure them that you got it all taken care of. There's a little bit of annoyance there, you know. I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay, you can kind of say it with a little bit of annoyance. Um, you, you know, a little bit of defense. That maybe you're getting a little defensive. Don't worry. I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay. How about the next one? And 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 what is it about? Actually, let's stay on that B. Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay, so the important words in the sentence, tomorrow, don't worry. So I'm kind of going up and then down in my intonation. Don't worry. I have, I have kind of, I kind of have, a, I'm kind of settling the person down. Um, I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay, I'll bring it tomorrow. So you're, there's kind of this softness to it to kind of help, like you're saying, kind of bring that assurance, <clears throat> trying to kind of be friendly or calm the person. Okay, now A, you always say that, but you never do. Okay, what's the feeling here? <clears throat> what's the feeling here? You always say that, but you never do. Okay, a little bit of disappointment, kind of angry, you know, starting to get a little bit angry <laughs> about it. We've gotten to like annoyed and now they're, it's moving more into a little bit stronger, um, a little bit stronger emotion. Okay, so what words did I emphasize to, to kind of create that stronger emotion in that? You always say that, but you never do. What are the words that you catch that I'm emphasizing? Okay, yep, so always, you always say that, but you never do, exactly, exactly. Great job, you guys. Um, you always say that, but you never do. So always and never and you, you know, don't and won't, all these words, when you emphasize those with a really kind of strong, a strong voice, it kind of creates this anger feeling, okay? And then B, relax, relax. I said I'll bring it tomorrow. Relax, I said I'd bring it tomorrow. Okay, what's the, what's the feeling here? Relax, I, 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 you know, and there's a number of ways you can say it, but um, relax, I said I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay, they're still trying to reassure them, still kind of trying to keep it calm, but you can see that they're, you know, but my voice has kind of stepped it up versus when I said, don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. And then relax, I said, I said I'll bring it tomorrow. Relax, I said I bring, I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay, a little bit stronger. Uh, my voice is getting a little bit stronger, a little bit louder. Um, I'm emphasizing words a little bit more. I said I'll bring it tomorrow. I said I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay, first one is kind of relax, okay? Relax, I'm kind of annoyed, I'm kind of bugged that that you're, you're being, you know, be, coming off so strong about this. Okay, and then the last one, 
you better or I'm going to tell everyone in school you're a jerk, okay? All right, you better. What's the emotion here? You better or I'm going to tell everyone in school you're a jerk. Definitely anger. <laughs> yep. They have the 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 tension is built and they that at that point that person is angry. You better or I'm going to tell everyone in school you're a jerk. And I could even make that for the sake of not getting too loud in your in your ear in your microphone here. Um I could even say you better or I'm going to tell everyone in school you're a jerk, okay? You'd be a little scared of me at that point <laughs> because I'm getting a lot more forceful in those words that I'm stressing or emphasizing. All right, so what do you think my um what do you think my body language and I should have just turned on my my video. I'm going to do that real quick. So I'm going to turn on my webcam. I don't know if you guys can um Okay, there I am. Hopefully you can see me. The recording actually doesn't show my video, um, but for those of you who are here, you can kind of see. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this dialogue again. You can kind of see. I'll try and get my acting face on here. Um, you can kind of see, uh, kind of see what the body language would be. And obviously, if I was standing up and I, you know, I could really get a lot of body language um, into this, but. But at the beginning, it's kind of calm. So, hey, did you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? No, I forgot. You forgot again? But you've already had it for a month. Don't worry. I'll bring it tomorrow. You always say that, but you never do. Relax. I said I'll bring it tomorrow. You better, or I'm going to tell everyone at school you're a jerk. <laughs> okay, so there might be hands on the hip, yeah, like you were saying. There might be, but you know, my eyes were kind of getting big. My eye, like, I was surprised. What you you forgot again? You know, my eyebrows would go up. Um, my eyes would get wide. You know, I might talk with my hands a little bit more. You know, there might be a lot more the like body language um, like that that would go along with with what I'm saying. Okay, so here, now I want to, um, I want to see if there's any uh, volunteers, volunteers who want to, uh, to go through this dialogue with me, okay? And we're, we're just going to kind of, uh, we're going to kind of, kind of go through it and see, see what the um, emotion or what we can do to really ham it up, kind of really bring uh, bring your acting skills into place, even if you don't have acting skills, that's okay. All right, any any volunteers that want to do this with me? Okay, Sharik, definitely want you to do it. So I'm going to unmute you. All right, you there? Yeah, I'm here, Annie. How are you? Are you there, Sharik? Hey. Yeah, I'm here. Can okay. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Perfect. Okay, so you ready? I'm going to have, uh, I'll be A, oh no, I want you to be A, and I'll be B, okay? Okay. Okay, so go ahead with A. So remember, at first, it's kind of no emotion, and then the emotion starts to build. Hey, did you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? No, I forgot. You forgot again? But you've already had it for a month. Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. You always say that, but you never do. Relax, I said I'd bring it tomorrow. You better, or I'm going to tell everyone in the school you're a jerk. Okay, good, perfect. That's exactly right, that's exactly right. Bravo. Okay, so it's really a lot about that, you know, where you're stressing, what your, your pitch level goes up, and that sentence stress, that sentence stress is so important because what, whatever you stress, that's what's important in that, in that message. And uh, it can really give that emotion as you stress those words. All right, great job. Okay, do you want to do, so, so uh, I'm going to keep you on here, Shariq. Um, okay. So we're going to try and, uh, we're going to try and do it sad and bored, okay? <laughs> So we're going to change the emotion a little bit. We're going to use the same words, but we're going to change the emotion. Okay? Okay. Um, all right. So you're going to say this very sad. 
Okay, so sad, you would, what, what kind of things do you think you would do with your voice if you were sad? Uh, I guess lower at a level. Uh huh. The, your voice would be lower. Would uh, you long stretch it out a little? Yeah, kind of stretch it out. I think that the the um the stress or emphasis probably wouldn't be as as high, right? Lower pitch, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and then I'm going to be bored. Okay. So I'm going to try and do that, and then we'll talk about what those you know, what board then sounds, sounded like afterwards. Okay, so you're sad and you're gonna be A, all right? Okay. Hey, uh, did you bring the DVD I sent you last week? No, I forgot. You forgot again? But you've already had it for a month. Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. You always say, but you never do. Relax. I said I'd bring it tomorrow. You better, or I'm going to tell everyone in the school that you're a jerk. <laughs> yep. Okay, good. Good. I liked how you kind of held that out. You know, if you're being, if you're sad about something, you're going to kind of talk like this, and it, it's lower, and you're going to hold things out a little bit more. <laughs> exactly. All right, great job. Okay, so let's do. Um, let's do. Are there any others that want to want to try? Um, go ahead and push the kind of hand button if you want to do it. Otherwise, I'm going to keep Sharik on here to <laughs> to do a few more. Okay, we got a volunteer. Thanks, Sharik. I'm going to mute you. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. You tend to. Okay, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Yatunda, you there? Let's see, are you there? Yatunda? Okay, I'm not hearing you. Let's see. Go ahead and talk. All right, so I'm going to... Oh, you there? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Good. Okay. Good. Thank you for volunteering. Okay, so we're going to do... I'm going to have you be A. Well, first, okay. let's, do, let's do the normal like kind of the normal um, one that we, we talked talked about. And then I'll have you do happy and I'll be angry, okay? Okay. All right, so let's go through just kind of the normal emotion of what you, what you what's being conveyed here. Okay, so you be okay. A, I'll be B, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, you want me to start now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Hey, do you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? No, I forgot. You forgot again, but you have already had it for one month. Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. You always say, but you never do. Okay, good. I like how you changed that. You always say, but you never do. It's kind of, when you emphasize say and do, it kind of gives that like, okay, you say one thing and you do another, <laughs> okay? So it's kind of giving that that uh, feeling of like, okay, you say one thing and you do another. So there's there maybe there's some there are issues in the past about that before. Okay, relax. Okay. I, I said I'll bring it tomorrow. You better I'm gonna tell everyone in school that you check. Yeah, there you go. That that was a, some emotion, some anger there. Okay, so now I want you to be really happy about it. Okay, <laughs> so so what would happen with your voice if you were happy? What kind of things would you change? Okay. What do you what do you think that you would change about your voice to kind of make it sound more happy? Um. Hey. Yeah. So there would be yeah. So there'd be like a kind of a higher pitch probably and. Um, well, well, let's do it and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so okay. go through and kind of see what you do with happy, you know, with being just happy. Okay. So you want me to do it now? Yeah, so go ahead with A. Okay. Hey, did you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? Yeah, there you go. Good. No, I forgot. You forget again? Boy, you already had it for one month. Uh huh. But you've already had it for a month. Yeah, I would. I would probably kind of bring it even just a little bit more pitch guard. You forgot again? Oh, but you've already had it for a month. Okay. <laughs> kind of okay. like. Oh, okay. So try that one again. You forgot again? 
we, we already have it for one month. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. I'll bring it tomorrow. You always say, but that you never do. Okay. You always say that, but you never do. You know, okay, kind of, kind of, even just, even when you smile while you say it, it kind of helps bring that emotion to it. So you okay. always say that. You always say that, but you never do. Okay. You always say that, but you never do. Yeah, there you go. Relax. I said I'll bring it tomorrow. You better. Oh, I'm going to tell everyone in school that you're a jerk. Okay, but that one, so we're trying to be happy, but that one I thought you were mad. <laughs> okay? And you were kind of stressing and emphasizing certain words a lot. Okay, so let's try that. I'll do it first and then you do it. Okay? You better, okay. or I'm going to tell everyone in school you're a jerk. <laughs> you're a jerk. Okay? <laughs> and that one, actually, because you have a happy face, but you're saying kind of mean words, you can kind of see it as more of like a... I uh, I don't I kind of a threat you know kind of a happy threat kind of I'm 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 being one way but I'm saying the opposite right so a little bit of um so you better or I'm going to tell everyone in school you're a jerk <laughs> okay so it's kind of sing songy a little bit of a you know happy tone okay so go ahead and try that one with a little bit kind of a happier happier tone. You got that A? You attend it? All right. Okay, I might have lost her. Um, okay, so I'm going to unmute you. Thank you so much. Or I'm going to mute you, I should say. Okay, so, so that one's a little trickier because you're saying certain sounds. I mean, you're saying certain things, but your emotion has to be different. So... If I'm doing it happy, hey, did you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? No, I forgot. You forgot again? Oh, but you've already had it for a month. Okay, so you're trying to, you know, it kind of sounds like someone who's trying to stay happy about it, but really they're kind of mad. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. You always say that, but you never do, or you never do. Um, you always say that, but you never do. Okay, so... I still have a happy face on my, you know, happy face, but there's a little disappointment there. You better, you better, or I'm going to tell everyone in school you're a jerk. Okay, kind of, kind of funny to put different emotions with it um, and still be able to, um, and still have the words the same. Okay, so the next one, is there anybody else? I'm going to put hands down now, but is there anybody else that wanted to try the last one? Okay, Macado, I'm going to unmute you. Sometimes. All right, you there? Yeah. You there? Hello? Hello, good. All right, you ready to try this with me? Actually, I didn't raise my hand, but now that you ask me, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, I think that hand raising feature. Yes, yeah, keep on going up. I don't know why. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure why, but uh, good. I'm gonna. I'm glad you're willing to do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, so I'm going to change it. So I have depressed and thinks it thinks it's funny. So, um, okay. so maybe you can do depressed for me, okay? What do you? I will. So depressed and probably sad is probably very similar, but I would say depressed is probably worse. You know, it's even worse than sad. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of give that really, really sad um, emotion to it. So you're going to be a for me. Okay. Hey, did you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? Uh, so what's my emotion? Let's see. Thinks it's funny. No, I forgot. You forgot again? But you already had it for a month. Don't worry. I'll bring it tomorrow. You always say that, but you never do. Relax. I said I'd bring it tomorrow. You better, or I'm going to tell everyone in school you are a jerk. <laughs> Good. Excellent. That was right on. <laughs> okay, so really slow, really low intonate, you know, low tone. There's not a lot of variation. It, you know, there wasn't a lot of variation in the words that you're saying. You drew it out, of, you know, pretty good. Okay, so I want you to do it normal now, the way it kind of, 
you know, the way that it is written, how you would you would actually say it. Okay, so U B A L B B. Okay. Hey, did you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? No, I forgot. You forgot again, but you already had it for a month. Don't worry, I'll bring it tomorrow. You always say that, but you never do. Relax, I said I'd bring it tomorrow. You better, or I'm going to tell everyone in school you're a jerk. <laughs> Excellent. You need to go into acting. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. All right, so, um, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to unmute you unless you have any other questions you want to say right now. No, I'll send you an email later on. Okay, sounds great. Thank you. Thank you for, for kind of volunteering, accidentally volunteering. <laughs> All right, so that's that's kind of a, a little bit more on that intonation practice. One thing that you can do in the intonation lessons <clears throat> in week five, I have a variety of dialogues there. And what I want you to do is take those dialogues and then add different emotions, just like we did today. We have, you know, you can do sad, bored, happy, angry, depressed, funny, you know, thinks it's funny, uh, maybe being sarcastic. Um, sarcastic, it, it kind of sounded like I was being sarcastic when I was being happy, but saying things like, you better, or I'm going to tell some, everyone you're a jerk. So like, you better, or I'm going to tell everyone you're a jerk. You know, that's, it kind of has a sarcastic feel to it, or a menacing feel, I guess. Um, but just kind of take different emotions and, and try and change, and then think, think to yourself, what what words did I emphasize or how did I change my pitch or tone um, to change those emotions? And another thing you can do, so doing it yourself, but then also looking at um, other people in movies. So if you, say you're watching a movie and you have, um, you know, you, you know that the emotion is a certain way. Pay attention to how they're saying things to create that emotion. So using the things that you've, you know, the, the skills that you've learned through um, this program, there's word stress, sentence stress, intonation, you know, pausing, you know, your, the, the pitch level where it goes up and down. And kind of pay attention. Are they, holding, are they holding words out like we were doing with sad and depressed? Are they holding the words out? Is that how you know that they're sad? Or what words are they emphasizing to really convey that emotion? So I think a lot of it is just kind of bring that awareness to how intonation changes things. Um, and it's really a combination of sentence stress and intonation that helps to um, bring that emotion out. Okay, so I want you to really practice that and see what you can do to, um, to change that emotion. One thing that is pretty common um, for non-native English speakers is to not get enough of that kind of up and down um, pitch levels in their voice. So a lot of times what I hear is just kind of more of a, what we call a kind of monotone pitch. So for example, um, in this dialogue, hey, hey, did you remember to bring the DVD I lent you last week? You forgot again, but you've already had it for a month. Okay, so my, my pitch level and tone just kind of stayed here. You forgot it again, instead of you forgot it again, Again, you've already had it for you've already already had it for a month. Okay, so that 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 important those important words the pitch is coming up and we're kind of varying that pitch so it's not just right here but you know just not just kind of flat and even but that it comes up and down. So that's the key and even when you're not you don't have an incredible amount of motion to it even when you're speaking about things you can. You can throw at them through sentence stress. It's kind of like throwing the most important ideas at your listener. And that way, it's very obvious what they need to listen to. So like I just said, it's very obvious what they need to listen to. And you're kind of just giving it to them easier. <laughs> Versus if you, if you say things at the same level or in the same pitch, then they have to decide out of everything what's the most important. And one thing, I don't know if how many of you are good at speed reading, but it's kind of the same with speed reading, is you, you scan to kind of pull out the most important words, and you don't really necessarily have to read all of the words in between. 
that's how it is for your listener. You want to kind of throw at them through your pitch level the important words so they don't have to shuffle through every single word that you say to kind of figure out, you know, the meaning or the intent or the most important part of your message, but they can just kind of grab onto those important words that you stress or emphasize. Okay, so hopefully that that helps you understand understand that intonation, sentence stress, and so those different levels. So if you're not there in the in the program yet, um, you'll get you know you'll get to those those ideas of word stress and sentence stress. And then even if you want to come back to this recording of this webinar later and then practice it, knowing some of that, um, having that understanding of some of those skills of rhythm, that would probably be really, really helpful to you. Okay, good. Um, what other questions do you guys have? I want to kind of open it up a little bit more. Um, what questions do you have or what, what um, you know, if you're, depending on the week that you're on, there might be some sounds that you're having, uh, you know, having a hard time with or not sure if you're doing it correct. Um, now's the time to, to ask and kind of get feedback. Um, I have the workbook here that I can pull up worksheets um, and different um, things that we can kind of practice together right now. I took quite a bit of time on the intonation lesson, but hopefully that was worthwhile for you. Um, so what I can do, a lot of times that TH sound is pretty, um, pretty tricky. And what I want, uh, now that I have my webcam on, cam on um, for the TH sound, we definitely want, um, I definitely want your, your teeth or your tongue to hit the, 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 right there, kind of between. You don't necessarily have to have, have your tongue, you know, really far out of your mouth, but it does need to hit behind and there needs to be a little bit of a space between your, your teeth. Okay, and I and I tell my students if they repeat the 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 like that really fast, then it helps your tongue be able to get into that position quicker. Um, because that's the trick is as you're first learning to put your tongue in that position, your mouth is going to want to your tongue's wanting to do something different, whether it be a D sound or an S sound, a Z sound, a T sound. Um, these are some of the most common mistakes. With the th sound, so the 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 the. If you can see my webcam, the 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 the. My my tongue is not necessarily coming far out of my mouth. The 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 the. But it is hitting right there between my teeth. Versus da 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 is up on the roof of my mouth, or or z z z z z z is down at the bottom. Okay, so that's the difference. The tongue where the tongue is. And uh, if the tongue is right there hitting against the middle of your teeth, the, 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 then you're going to get the, the sound correct. All right. Okay, I'm not seeing any other questions. Um, we'll do these, we're going to do these, um, these practice webinars often um, so that we can, you know, if, if not every, I'm going to try and keep it every month. So that um, some of my ba you know basic members and things can get some personalized help if you if you're really needing that you know personalized feedback or help. Um, remember that with the basic package, our the week one you know you can get feedback for your week one ex assignment, um, and then week ten when you get to week ten there is you can also submit um, an assignment to get feedback there. So I do those two as bonuses just because I like to keep, you know, I know that you're going through the video lessons on your own, but I like to kind of keep involved and help make sure that you're, you're making the progress that you need as you go through the course. Okay. So if there are no other questions, um, we'll end the webinar. Um, and even if you have any questions about, um, about, you know, the program or anything, I'm always available through email, so Annie, A-N-N-I-E, at pronunciationpro.com, and I can write that here for you, so A-N-N-I-E, at pronunciationpro.com. So you can also use the contact form on the Pronunciation Pro website. 
And if you ever have any um, comments or feedback or issues with the, the site or the program or videos, please, please reach out to me and let me know so that I can, um, I can help you with that. Okay? Well, I'm so glad that you came today. Hopefully that was worthwhile for you um, to kind of learn more about um, intonation and emotion and how you can use that emotion um, better in your English. Because I, I do promise you that as you use, especially that sentence stress and that, you know, that emphasis on keywords, that that will make a big difference on how, how well others understand you. Because um, even if you're not saying every sound correct, if you're kind of feeding people, you know, feeding your listener the important words, you're slowing down on names, numbers, and negatives. I always say the three N's. Names, you want to really emphasize numbers of things, okay? Numbers are important information. And negatives, so I don't want that. I can't come. Um, I won't be there. you got to emphasize the negatives so that that's nice and clear versus I can come or I can't come, okay? You need to emphasize the negative, so that's clear. Okay, so try all of that this week. See if you can kind of practice on your own, and then it takes, it does take another level of um, courage to then use those skills with, with uh, in conversation with people that you're, you're interacting with in English, um, because it does feel at first like you are, um, acting or you are not being true, you know, true to who you are. Um, you, maybe it's, maybe it feels like you're making fun of American speakers um, as you do these certain, you know, use these certain skills. Um, but again, remember, mistakes are proof that you're trying and there's no way to really improve on what you're doing or improve in your English unless you're willing to try and and make you know and you're you're open to mistakes because it's going to happen one other thing that um, i want to make sure that that you do is um find people around you native english speakers and just say hey you know i'm you know as you know i'm english isn't my first language can you you know can you answer this question for me about pronunciation or am i doing this correct or kind of reach out to native speakers because um depending on their personality, you, you can obviously kind of tell whether there's someone that you can kind of trust or um, feel comfortable with, but they can be a great resource. They might not know exactly why they do what they do, but they can tell you what's right and what's wrong or what, what it should be and what it shouldn't be. And then with your understanding through the course kind of of the rules, then you can kind of decide through that um, kind of how to do it. So, um, so today's webinar will be uh, recorded, and, and it is being recorded, and it'll be available on the webinars page of, um, on the Pronunciation Pro website. Okay, so I put all the, all, the, all the recordings of past webinars on that webinars page, so you can go through and find um, the webinar. So I'll, I'll have that up within, definitely within the next um, week, if not in, within the next few days. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I really appreciate um, you being here and interacting with me. And uh, um, I hope you guys all have a great week. And please come back to our webinars again. We'll do this again. It's fun. All right. Bye.